All right, class, today I want to talk about this week's drawing, and we're going to work on dimensions. All right, and I want you to draw a item that can fit on your paper again. All right, same thing. So I am going to draw a wrench. All right, so I have my wrench, and from here, I am going to draw dimension lines. So what I want to do is measure out how long this wrench is in with a ruler, the full size of this wrench. I'll measure it out with a ruler. When I measure my wrench, I get that it is 10 and a half inches long. So what I want to do is draw an extension line from here and another one from here to there. This will give me the extension line that I want for that dimension. Then I draw a couple of arrows right there I'm going to erase the middle part this is where I'm going to put the actual dimension and I said it was ten and a half inches so that's ten and one half inches that's the symbol for inches then I'm going to also measure out the the width my arrows erase the center All right and that dimension is three and three fourths of an inch so I'm going to put three and three fourths of an inch all right, let me also include a quick lesson on measuring with rulers. All right, so you have your ruler. All right, and your ruler will be broken up into sections. <clears throat> So it'll start with zero, one, two, and a say three, right? You'll have a long mark that will let you know where your inches are. Then it breaks up into more fractions to let you know what those fractions are. So if this is your one inch mark, halfway through it is your half inch mark. All right, and that's going to be one half of an inch. When you break it down again, here, that's going to be one quarter of an inch, and that's going to be three quarters of an inch, because now you've divided it into four different, four equal parts. If you divide it again. All right, let's make this even bigger. So that's zero, that's one inch. All right, that's half of an inch. 
Now it's divided into four parts, which is a quarter, three quarters of an inches. We divide it again. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, eight parts. So now that's an eighth of an inch. And there's one, there's two, that's two eighths of an inch. There's one, two, and three, that's three eighths of an inch, and so on. Some rules will go to sixteenths, so it goes into even smaller sections. All right, so that will be one sixteenth of an inch. All right, this right here is one, two, and three sixteenths of an inch, and so on. For our purposes, we only need eighth, so round things up to an eighth of an inch, and that's it.